Hello and welcome to this quarter's Firebolt Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about join indexes. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to look at a query. Uh, this is a query that's joining the fact table to a dimension table. So we're going to run this query. Notice that we're doing a, a where predicate on the dimension table. We're also grouping by that dimension table. So you can tell this query is taking a fair amount of time to run which is quite unacceptable. So 11.88 seconds. So let's look at why that query ran that long. So let's do an explain plan on it and let's take a look. So the first thing you notice is the explain plan is actually doing an inner join from the fact table to the dimension table. So you can tell we're doing a left outer join here, but because of the where predicate, Firebolt is converting that to an inner join. Uh, Fire, Firebolt always prefers outer joins compared to inner joins. Um, the other thing to note here is that we are using the aggregating index on the fact table. So there's not a lot we can do on the fact table. Um, it's really this join between the dimension table and the fact table. So let's look at how we can optimize that. So if we look at the calendar dimension table, we have, this is the table, we have the LTV date defined as unique. Um, that is a, a requirement to build a join index. And then we have our values. So let's look at what we're doing here. So we're filtering based off of the week. We're also uh, re returning the week with the date. So let's go ahead and create a join index for that. So this join index, again, will create an in, in memory key value pair. So it's gonna be based off the date and the week. So let's see if that works any better. So let's remove the explain and go ahead and run the query again. So we went from 11 seconds to 0.19 seconds. So that's quite impressive. So let's look at the explain plan and see why that is. So let's go up here. So the first thing to note, again, we're still using that aggregating index, but the first thing to note is we went from a join down to a subquery. So now we're using Firebolt's deep filtering and, and leveraging the primary index on that aggregating index of the timestamp and filtering that data down first out of the fact table before we go to the dimension table. The other interesting thing is we're actually on the output, we're not, we're not joining to that dimension table at all. We're doing a lookup value in that join index. So what we're doing here is we're actually leveraging the join index. We're filtering that data out and we're returning the results out of that key value pair. So that is one way that you can take advantage of join indexes within Firebolt and one of the ways that it is much faster. Uh, thank you for joining us today and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.